Complete Personal Fit. Today is a body shaping class, and we're going to split the body. So we're going to do a body split routine that's really going to focus on the chest, the back, and the biceps. Those muscles fit together really nice. Um, you can do push, pull, kind of alternate back and forth. I really like to do that when I do my own workouts. Um, I'll do this with you in real time. I don't think you have any trouble following along. Great routine. Uh, we have a circuit set up. I think we're trying to go through three times. And listen, if you're starting two is great. Okay, so two to three rounds of this. Also, we're really trying to make this accessible for anyone. So if you've got fitness equipment at home, um, go ahead and use that. That's great. I'm going to use some basic household items to kind of get to this routine to show you that with a few items you can get through this workout regardless of your fitness level or what equipment requirements you need. So the first thing uh, on our list of things you may want to grab uh, would be a chair. And the chair is sort of an option if you have a difficult time going to the floor. We'll be on the floor for a few things with some push-ups. Um, you may want a chair for that. Okay. Um, a ball. And this is also sort of optional. We're going to do this hands to feet. So kind of like a suitcase crunch. But that having something tangible makes that exercise even a little more challenging. I kind of like that. So if you've got, um, I've got one of my sons, and it's a little flat. <laughs> uh, I've got one of my son's basketballs. It's winter now, and it's kind of had not been used in a while, so, and I couldn't find the needle to pump the silly thing up. So anyway, I'm going to use the ball, but um, you may want a ball, soccer ball, maybe a smaller stability ball. I've got a basketball. Uh, and we can use this for one or two exercises. I mentioned the hands, the feet. We're also going to do a push-up where one arm is elevated. Okay, so you can roll this back and forth. Uh, maybe you've seen people use medicine balls with that before. Um, it, that exercise isn't for everybody. If you have a, if you have like a, a Reebok step or some type of step, you could use a step too. I've done that in the past. Or um, maybe even like a cooking pot. If you have a tall, like a like a pasta pot, um, you you could use that. Just be careful that they they like to slide on slick surfaces. So. Uh, if you have something rubber to put under that, that'd be great, but just be aware you're trying to push down. Don't push it forward, okay? Um, as far as dumbbells go, um, we're gonna make use of some gallon jugs. So I've got several out here. Um, you can buy them just two, or you could build up from there, okay? And I've got, gosh, six, eight of them sitting here, and I, and I know that's crazy, uh, but two to six would probably be a good number. Um, you can handle one or two in each hand. Um, you could also, and I'll make, make use of this, you could also use an optional broomstick and you use it like a barbell. And I'm going to use that for a couple exercises. We have a bent over row. Gallon jugs are fine. You could hold one or two in each hand and do bent over rows. Okay. I'm just using a broomstick so I could put a little more weight on there. Okay, that's it. Uh, also, we have these 21s that we'll talk about later on. And uh, I'm going to use the broomstick for that too. It gives you that barbell feel. Okay. So before we start, let me run through just these exercises really fast. We're going to start with a cross plank knee drive. So we're going to drive the knee across the body, lift up, okay? Uh, if that's too challenging, I think a lot of people will be able to do that, okay, from, from the ground. If it's hard to do that lift, just do the crosses, okay? If it's hard for you on the floor, maybe, maybe it's the wrist issues, guys, you can go to the chair and do that, okay? So... Um, next one is the hands feet we talked about. So we have this like almost like a suitcase crunch where we hand in the, the ball from the hands to the feet, come back, and then grab it from the feet to the hands. Um, then we have the push-up we talked about. So we're going to have an elevated push-up. And listen, if that's a problem, if you have a real hard time, maybe you don't have a step, um, maybe you don't feel comfortable with the cooking pot because we've used that before, you know, where your hands are in the cooking pot and you just switch them. Just go to a chair and do some chair push-ups. Okay. Uh, pullovers. So we're going to do some pullovers. Great exercise. It really can get chest and back kind of working together. It kind of pulls to the core a little bit too. So you land on the floor, gallon jugs coming over, and when you do that, soft elbows. Okay. I don't want you. I don't want you to lock the elbows out while you're doing that. That'll put it right on the shoulder. So soft elbows, even out slightly, guys, and that'll really help engage that back. Then we're going to do this fly crush press, where we do a fly, and then we're going to come down and drive up, and you're trying to push gallon jugs or dumbbells together. So it'll be a fly, press, fly, press, all right? 
go to an underhand bend over row. Okay, so hitting that back. Uh, then we go 21s. Okay, and that's where I'll use a broomstick again, kind of back-to-back -back exercises. Then we'll do a back widow, and I'll talk about those 21s and this back widow when we get there and try to talk about that in a little more detail. Okay, a video clip won't do it justice necessarily, so uh, we'll talk about those when we get there. So okay, let's get started. We've got two to three rounds of this. Right? The other thing you may want to mat if you want to use a mat for the, your hands to feet. Okay? So I'll bring the ball down here and let's get started, guys. We're going to start with our cross plank knee slide. Right? So here we go. I'll, guys, around 10 with each leg, you know, give or take. Okay? So we'll get in this position and then lift up. So I'll cross. was 10 and they're challenging all right I'm gonna lay back on the back now and uh, I'm gonna go hands and feet remember you know if you have a ball it's nice to have you don't have to have that you can mimic this without anything all right so I want to make sure I got plenty of room about 15 of these which is like 30 crunches right so I'm gonna crunch up and it come back notice my head comes all the way down Legs don't want to strain the back, so I got the feet a little elevated. One, two, three, Feeling that core. Feel that big time. So that was our hands to feet. Now we're going to go to the alternating elevated push up. Try to put a little more emphasis on the arm that's elevated. Again, if you have a, a step that's out of view, if you have like a, a step you could lay it this way and you could kind of do this where you kind of do this traveling motion with elevation. And again, if going to the floor is a problem, just do some push ups on the chair. So we're here. Guys, we're only going for about 10 total push-ups. So about five on each side, all right? So <clears throat> here we go. So we're just gonna come down. I'm gonna try to drive with my left arm here. We'll roll it over. Was 10 push-ups really be intentional with that squeeze I was really trying to squeeze those the chest as I came up all right uh, next one we're kind of standing on the floor here for a sec uh, we've got the pullovers okay and uh, you know you could use a dumbbell for this um, you could use a barbell uh, I, I, I thought about using a broomstick which I could do um, but I'm just gonna use some gallon jugs so I'm gonna grab a couple gallon jugs here and when you have get your jugs, if you're using our dumbbells, 
bring them to your side, okay? And then kind of get them up and off the floor. All right, so you don't want to strain the shoulder, so you don't want to go out really wide and pull them up, bring it in tight to the body, press up, okay? And now, we're gonna do our fly crush press, all right? So we'll get, I don't know, 10 to 15 of these maybe? All right, oh, we're doing pullovers, sorry. Pullovers, pullovers. So we're gonna come over with the pullover, elbows are soft, and drive up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This feel good. I feel bad. Okay, we'll set these down for just a second, um, and we've got the fly, fly crush press now, okay? So give those arms just a second, and give your hands a break, and then grab them again here, and now we're going to do a fly, so you kind of get these up the same way, you know, the weights are kind of kind of tight to the body, bring them up, and now we've got this fly crush press. So. We're gonna do a fly, elbows are soft, come down, up, tighten the pecs if you can, and we're gonna come down and press up, squeezing those weights together. Feel these, these are great. Just be aware of the shoulders, be under control with every rep. Here's my mouth. All right, good. We'll set these down. Kind of set them down the same way you bring them up. You just don't want to extend and come down. You don't want to put any stress on the shoulders. All right. So, uh, that was our fly crush press, another, I just really like those. Uh, now, we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna do underhand bend over row. So, this could be a gallon jug or two in each hand. Just kind of turn your palms like this again, and then we're gonna get our, our rows in, okay? I'll use an optional broomstick, so again, you don't have to do that. Um, so, I'm just gonna slide a couple more, just to get the resistance up here a little bit. And if you're used to heavier weights, um, just be intentional with your contraction, okay? Make this challenging if you can, all right? So we've got about 15 of these. Kind of engaging the biceps a little bit too with this one, all right? Just be aware of your back. So I'm gonna grab this. Set this down, shake them out for a minute because we're going right back after this. We have 21s. The gist with these 21s, 
we're going to cut your curl in half. And we're going to do seven of the bottom half of the curl, then seven of the top half of the curl, and then seven full range curls. Okay, so seven, 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 21. Take maybe just a couple of these off. And we'll be real strict with our form. And uh, let's get these guys. So bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's, now we have seven top. Seven full range, right? So a little, this is a little tiring here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that was twenty-one biceps. Definitely feeling that. All right. exercise we're laying down all right and we have what's called a back widow so you're gonna drive the elbows down into the floor bringing squeezing the upper back bringing the shoulder blades off the floor and then coming back to the floor right. so this takes a little getting used to we're gonna lay down elbows guys don't try to get them too high that's really hard on the shoulders so bring them down okay just a little bit Maybe up to even like a 45 here. And then we're gonna drive up one. And just kind of pause for a second at the top. Squeeze. Ten to fifteen. Good. Let the arms drive it. Don't crunch. So squeezing, squeezing down, tightening that upper back. All right, that was one round through. All right, if you need a quick drink, grab a quick drink. You can always hit pause if I go too quickly or fast forward if I talk too much. We're gonna get these out of the way, and guys, I'm gonna start off with those cross plank knee slides. Round number two. Right, so I think we'll go right through here. Chair is an option here, right? About 10 each way. Next one, hands to feet. Okay. 10 to 15 of these, and these, you'll feel them. Remember, don't go too low with the legs, though. All right, here we go.
Lighten that core up. Okay. Take a breath or two. And next. Next, guys, we have the push ups. Alternate elevated push up. Round 10 here, right? Here we go. Good stuff. Okay, so pullovers are next. Remember, get these get the you know get your weights if you're grabbing a weight like dumbbells. Get them close to your side here. are kind of soft to the outside. One. Two. Three. Stretch it out a little bit. Set it out for just a moment. Great one next. Fly crush press. All right. Set those guys down. Whew. Feels good. Feels good. Get those pecs fired up. All right. Okay, next one. 
underhand bent over rows. I'll just add a little bit of weight real quick here. Hit the broomstick, work straight broomstick, mop, maybe it'll work right. Just like a little barbell. a little bit here. Biceps aren't quite as strong, especially in those 21s as your back. And if you're using gambling jokes on these curls, you could keep more of a hammer. It's hard to turn them, so you could do like a hammer. Okay, so a little easier to hold the handle straight up and down rather than try to turn them. If you can turn them, that's great. All right, 21s. Remember bottom half, top half, both halves. <clears throat> Seven. One, two, three, four. All right. I'll right. set those down. Shake them out for a second. Back widow is next. So I'm gonna lay down here, and when you think about it, it's kind of like it's kind of like the underhand bent over rows we just did. Okay, so kind of a similar thing. You're just trying to squeeze it up or back. Here we go. Ten to fifteen of these. Remember, not crunching. Drive yourself up. Since we're crushed, don't do it. Just drive yourself up. Right. Try to get 10 to 15. Oh, yeah. Whoo! You could really feel that upper back tighten up. So if you're new to these, give it a time or two, and you'll get a little better, I think, if you're, if you're having a difficult time with them. Um, boy, round three coming up. Hey, if you're just starting out, two rounds is, is great, okay? Uh, if you want to try to go through three, I'll do it with you. Let's get them to kick off here. So cross, plank, knee slide.
hands to feet. Whew. 10 to 15 of these. Here we go. Push-ups are next. Alright, let's get these out of the way just a little bit. Okay, about 10 total push-ups here. Whew. Here we go. Pullover. So you kind of got the, the, the chest with those pushes. Now we're doing primarily a pull here. You get a little chest with this, elbows out, gets a little more of the back. So trying to maybe emphasize the back a little more. So we'll grab these gallon jugs. Give yourself just a second, and now we have the flies. The fly and the crush press. Here we go.
really feel those. All right, next exercise. We've got the rows. Get these out of the way. Okay. 15 of these. Twenty ones are next. Okay, let's throw up the biceps. Seven full ones. Oh man. Okay. Oh my gosh. Man, only one exercise for the biceps in this routine. And they are just on fire, right? Twenty ones. What a great exercise. Okay, back widow, focus. If you're probably a little fatigued, we're really focused on the elbow drive. Don't, don't, don't crunch up. Drive yourself up with the arms, here we go. So that was three rounds if you followed me. Uh, maybe you only got two and that's totally fine. That was our body split. So this is our body shaping workout. Really trying to shape and firm the body. Right. Hopefully you had a great workout. Thanks for joining me. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.